Yo, new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share this shit, gang. Hey, real quick, plot twist. So, Lil' Cam, everybody knows by now, quote unquote, the dark skinned dude with the dreads is the killer of takeoff. But the plot thickens, it turns out, because Lil' Dude is only 16 years old, right? Why is he around mob ties? Okay, we know he a shooter. You know, niggas got their security or whatever. But he from South Carolina. You see what I'm saying? Like, he don't rap or nothing. So how did you link with a 16-year-old, 17, 16-year-old from South Carolina and you live in Texas? Lil' Cam Pops is uh, Jay Prince senior homeboy. From way back, they go way from way back in the 80s, 90s. You know what I'm saying? They was doing their little business or whatever. Yeah, I know what Jay, Pr Jay Prince used to do out there for the nation or whatever. So, bow. This is why he's been around. You know what I'm saying? He he basically, he muscled for Jay Prince Jr. You know what I'm saying? And like I told y'all before, Jazz and Jay Prince Jr. got two separate cliques that don't hang out like that or whatever. But it was all a little sick little play. It turns out Le Cam had been, he don't like the Migos for some strange reason. It's old tweets and posts. I'm going to try to uh, post them up here from 2018 saying uh, I, I don't fuck with uh, the Migos or for whatever reason. I don't know what it was. But, you know, we don't know all the information. Me, when I say we, I mean us, the world. Something could have happened when they was in Texas before, like the Migos years ago, where they slightly got into it. But, you know what I'm saying? They got swept under the rug and they got back cool. But, you know, you always got your certain few select niggas who go feel the way they feel, though. But Yellow Jacket, Lil' Cam is definitely the one that hit Takeoff in the head. And it's so fucked up. If you slow the video down, Takeoff walked right into it. Like, dude, he positions himself next to Takeoff in the middle of the while. while Quavo was arguing with Jay Prince Jr. See, people thought he was arguing with just some random person. No, he was arguing with Jay Prince Jr. That's why the play went down. Nothing's supposed to happen to Jr. I know it's it's fucked up the way to look at it, but if Quavo and them was in the A and that and that same scenario was going down, nothing's supposed to happen to Quavo or Tate. So once a nigga up a pole, you let them motherfuckers go. But it's the takeoff. He tried to walk up to, you know what I'm saying? He was going towards the fight to help his uncle Quavo fight. You know what I'm saying? Like a real nigga. The little nigga, uh, Lil Cam got Buck Noy. I don't give a fuck how many bodies or none of that shit. Niggas be scared. That's why they be up in their guns so quick. That wasn't an upper gun situation. That was Quavo and Takeoff. Okay, they homie had the pole, but his pole wasn't even out yet. Like, they thinking it's a fight. He, of course, he finna protect, you know what I'm saying? But Quavo and them homie then start shooting until he seen takeoff bot drop. He heard that shot and he saw takeoff drop. That's when he upped his pole and started shooting towards the way that takeoff and uh, Lil' Cam was standing. But Lil' Cam was using takeoff as a shield, bro. He straight hit that man in the head and then held his body up and took a, and, and made his homie hit him with another bullet, gang. Like... Watch the video, gang. Y'all got to slow it. It's other YouTubers breaking it down, slowing it down for y'all. You can see it all. Like, this, these are facts. But I just, damn, take, like, it, it, it's like he walked right into the, like, the line of fire. Dude up this pole. He was trying to shoot him, but it's like, takeoff didn't even realize he, you know what I'm saying? Like, if he'd have looked, if he'd have known that's what he was on the whole time, he probably could have, like, pushed off and got, they was that close or something, like, Grabbed the gun and moved it or something, but dude was not supposed to shoot takeoff in the head, though. But since it happened, J. Prince Jr., everybody talking about how he walked past the body, he like, fuck it. I don't, it shit, the shit done happen, which is fucked up company to have, and that's why you keep your own motherfucking security out of town. These rap niggas is not your home. Matter of fact, Jr. don't even rap. These, these motherfuckers... If you didn't know these motherfuckers, you got niggas from the sandbox switching up on you. You think a motherfucker from out of town give a fuck about you and you flexed up, you know you, Junior know his money not longer than Quavo's. And they was talk, they was arguing, talking money shit all day. Junior want to act like he's such a street nigga. Bro, you grew up behind gates. Your pops was been rich. 
you're not a street nigga, gang. Like, I don't know why he think he is. Like, you're not a street nigga. Just because you be around, they got you surrounded by street niggas to keep your little punk ass safe. But, oh, that's finna be somebody from Mob Ties gotta go. A, na a, a big name, too. Give it to Christmas. The world go, we go get some revenge for takeoff. Fuck that. That's how I'm coming with it. I told y'all, I don't be knowing these people. I don't pick sides. I ride with what's right. And what's right is takeoff shouldn't have got hit like that. And whoever did it need to die. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Now jump in the comment box. Oh, this and that, man. Eat my... Bruh, if you don't like the content I put out, get off my channel. It's simple as that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't doing nothing different from what nobody else with a camera on this motherfucker doing. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, at least I'm bringing y'all real facts. That's why it's taking me so long to push this product, this, 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 what, I, what I got to say out. So, okay, yeah, Lil' Cam Pops, he mob tied. So, Lil' Cam, when he up that motherfucker, I don't even think he really was going to shoot takeoff. He was just going to start, like, you. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe, but he wasn't supposed to shoot him. He got scared, and he let that motherfucker go. Ain't no way in hell. He, he, he just... Takeoff wasn't even arguing with nobody. Why did you shoot shoot Takeoff in the head, gang? Because you were scared. It's they three deep, gang, and your whole team is there. And you got a y'all got all the poles. Why y'all y'all really wanted to? This is what this what the play really was supposed to be. Quavo was supposed to get beat up, and they was gonna have it on camera, and probably try to extort him later on, because that's what they be trying to do. This is why. Shout out! I don't shout this nigga out a lot, but shout out NBA young young boy. Remember when? J Prince said he had his keys and shit. The niggas that broke in his house, J Prince sent them motherfuckers to break in his house, man. Ain't nobody dumb. Is y'all seeing the plays that's going on in that game? Duke the jeweler. Duke the jeweler. I'm not saying he a nobody. But to them, that situation, he's a nobody. He down here with the. Uh, he got all that jewelry. He got how much money? Oh, yeah, we on him, gang. Boosie, this show. Shit, I don't know that nigga like that. He just a jeweler. Say less. We on him. Yeah, I see all the plays that's going down. Them Texas niggas is scandalous, gang. And they think they can just keep get away with getting away with that shit because they do it to slightly less known people. But Takeoff was known, and Takeoff got the whole Atlanta backing them. And Atlanta is now a no-fly zone for the Prince family and Chicago. So they keep doing that. They go block their bags. Now, a nigga go fuck around and Drake, you ain't got shit to do with nothing, but you mob ties to Philly. They go... I don't think nobody would kill Drake, but shit, we didn't think nobody would kill Takeoff. I know they'd beat the shit out of Drake, but Drake's security so motherfucking tight, I doubt they can get to him. But like I said, though, anybody can get touched. Niggas be out here slipping. The Migos was out here slipping. Yeah, we think y'all supposed to be protecting us whole time. Y'all envious of, of us. You see what I'm saying? Like, they was jealous, gang. That's the only reason niggas did that shit. Junior could have just said, nah. Cut the argument. He could have just put his arms around Quavo like, bro, you know we homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, on some real shit. I bet you wish he would have did that now. Because Pops can't get you out this one. And he know it. So, you play all that tough guy shit you want to. And shout out Sauce Walker. Like he said, he wished the Migos was with him, nigga. Because niggas would have pushed on y'all weak asses, nigga. Y'all up in poles and shit. On, how you gonna call some niggas down here and up poles on them? Because y'all arguing about money. That, and he just lost money to you. So why is you steady straight? You know what I'm saying? You know motherfuckers be pissed off when they lose bread. Now y'all friendship is over. It'll never be the same. Once blood is shed, I don't know who raised y'all, where y'all from, but once blood is shed, it's it's a problem forever. It, it'll never stop. You just killed my nephew. Yeah, I think they're going to shake hands a year or two from now. Like, yeah, I know why it happened. It's cool, though. Nah, it don't work like that. 50 was able to shake up with Fat Joe and Jada Kiss because no blood was shed and the beef wasn't that deep. That's what I was saying about the 2000 beefs versus the beefs now. These little niggas is dying. Once blood is shed, it, you know what I'm saying? At least my generation was smart enough to know, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit so fucked up, gang. I'm going to try to put the little, uh, I am going to put some little pictures in here shit, uh, Lil Cam and his old tweets that he made. I don't know. I'm still trying to. I'm. A, I'm gonna come back with that to why he really doesn't like the Migos 
but he has old tweets. His page are just dissing amigos for no damn reason. Years ago, though. Like, so, motherfuckers kind of lost on that, but we going to see what's up, man. Um. Oh, yeah, Fendi Boy video coming, too. A little later, I'm going to drop that right after this. I don't know what the fuck wrong with Fendi Boy. Whew. Off of that boy 27 years off the gate. That quick. They move fast in this motherfucker. Like, but you gave a kid a... a we ain't going to talk about that right now. RIP takeoff, man. If y'all think Quavo letting that slide, you got another thing coming, gang. Quavo, from, from what I heard, 250, 300 large is up there on the table. Niggas finna move, bro. It's finna be a woe going on in the South. Like, put your 3D glasses on. I hope y'all watching this shit, gang, because y'all know when I get y'all the info, that's exactly how I fold out, right? Just go back, yeah, man. My loyal subs, jump in the comment box. Let them new subs know what the fuck going on. Tell them about my very first video. Oh yeah, and I got about my very first video. Um, when I named them names, y'all yeah, know two of them names I didn't name right for the other O Block Five that got locked up. That's because two of them wasn't even there. See, that shit get deep. Two, a few of them niggas from that O Block Five is finna walk. It's going to fuck y'all up, too. When the, when, the, when the case start, like, niggas is going to be, you know? I don't know. I didn't put the motion in for the speedy trial, either, because if they would have did that, they they all would be out. But a few of them was not there on that hit game. That's all I'm going to say. But, yeah, man, jump in that comment box, man. Let me know how y'all feel about Lil' Cam being takeoff shooter, allegedly. Y'all think he shot him on purpose? Y'all think it was over jealousy, or you think... J. Prince Jr. gave the head nod like he got to do, you know what I'm saying, for a nigga to do something. Because I think he really gave a nod for a dude to punch him. Cause, but the other, look Cam was looking at it like, oh, so I'm going to shoot him. Because why, why would he punch him and then shoot him? Like, damn, y'all trying to kill the amigo? Like, you going to kill a whole, you know what I'm saying, like a whole group. That's like all the amigos there and they shot them all. Like... <laughs> It don't even, it, you know what I'm saying? It's not adding up right, for real. You see what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, y'all jump in that comment box. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts on the situation. Gang.